Hi, welcome in April 25th, verse for today. And this is God's word here, scripture. I will be their God and they will be my people. Hebrews 8, 10. Samuel, 1 Samuel 8, 1 to 9, 19 to 21. Israel wants a king. When Samuel grew old, his sons became judges in Israel. But they were not good judges like Samuel was. They were dishonest. So the leaders of Israel met with Samuel and said, You are getting old and your sons are not following your example. Choose a king to rule over us so that we can be like all the other countries. So Samuel prayed and asked the Lord what he should do. The Lord said to Samuel, they have not only rejected you, they have rejected me as their king and have turned away from me to worship other gods. Let them have their way, but give them a strict warning about how an ordinary king will treat them. What's wrong with having a king? What could be wrong with a nation asking for a king to rule over them? Does God not like kings? Does he not want someone to rule a country? God is not against a nation having a ruler or a king. The Bible even says that God sets up kings. Daniel 2.21 and in Hebrews 13.17 tells us that we should obey our rulers. God was angry with Israel because they wanted a human king while he was already their king. He had rescued them from slavery in Egypt, provided for them in the desert, and helped them conquer the heathen tribes in the promised land. He was better than any earthly king could ever be. He not only protected and provided for his people, he also loved them and cared for them. Now the Israelites were turning their backs on God and wanting a human king so they could be like the other nations. Who is king of your heart? Let Jesus, the king of kings, rule in your heart. Praise the Lord.